Ideogram 1.0 just released about a month ago. So February 28th, 2024, this is when this blog post was released. So I'm assuming around at the same time, this that's when it exactly released. Now come down here, you can just break down, this is the blog, it gives you a breakdown of everything, the state of the art, text rendering, and it gives you, you know, this is like the air rate, air rate. So for character, for word, and it's saying that it's been improved lower than Dolly 3. And you're gonna see right here too as well. The ideogram 1.0 is the green one, right? And it shows you a few examples of some images here. And then if we continue to keep going down, right, it's showing you the sharp, the sharpness of some of these images, which it's freaking pretty amazing, right? How AI is evolving. And I just I think it just if you look at a lot of this stuff and how <laughs> It's from when I first started doing like online business with print, like print on demand to now it's like, it's crazy, right? It's some of my, my some of my artists, my team, my designers are like, this can do that. That's crazy. Like some of them don't agree with it and some of them agree with it, right? They like it. It can, it, I'm trying to show them like when it first approached, like a lot of artists were there and a lot of still artists are still are against it. But if you leverage this to help you do like, let's say 80% of the work, right? To do the heavy lifting, to give you some inspiration. And then you just, you know, do the the rest of it by, by hand. It, it can be very powerful, right? You can use it in your favor and there's you know, there's a lot that can be done, right? Now, it's uh, kind of just showing examples of different prompts. You can see right here, right? Giving you examples right there. Here's another prompt, different prompts there, different prompts here, right? Pretty cool. So there's prompts here and this is the image that it created. Prompts here, that's the image that's created. And, and it's just breaking it down, comparing Dolly 3 and Mid Journey V6. And those are the most... And an ideogram or like those three right there seem to be in Leonardo AI. Those seem to be very, they're like in, in the same space. So they're competing each, against each other. Right. And then uh, that's showing you the magic prompt where it will literally. So if you put in something like basic, like this, create a funny meme about cats, it will magic prompt will help you create a, a, a better prompt, right? Basically that's what it, that's what it would do. And this is what it created right here. Same thing here. Look what they put some emojis in and magic prompt went ahead and created that right there. And that's what it created. Pretty cool, right? Same thing here, vegetables orbiting the sun, right? And then it went ahead and created basically a better prompt for you and helped talk to the AI to create a better prompt. And that's what it created. Now, let me go ahead and let me show you a few examples, what you can use, how you can use it inside here. I know I've created a few videos on this already. And there's, there's a few different ways where you can just generate your own prompts where you know, you can use like a inside of chat GPT, there is a, a prompt where it will help you create a prompt for, you know, if you're using some type of AI or, you know, if you're using some type of AI image generator, like mid journey, ideogram or, 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 or Dolly three, there's, there's a few different ways that you can use different prompts. If you don't know how to talk to the AI, it's very simple. I recommend you keep it very simple until you have a better understanding of how to talk to it. But it's pretty cool to see this magic prompt right here, right? Which I'm excited to see and we're gonna test out in this video to see how it works. And just us putting in a simple emoji or just putting in some simple text and then it creating a really cool prompt for us. Now, what I'm talking about in here is this Chrome extension. It's called a AIPRM for ChatGPT. It's really cool. It's like a prompt, like you can use like different prompts. So you, you type it in and it gives you some free like templates and stuff like that, which is really cool. So it links in, you have to open up ChatGPT and when you open up ChatGPT, it pops up this little interface on, on top of ChatGPT, right? And you can see it's right here. Now, one 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 tool, one little template that I like to use is the Mid Journey Prompt Generator. Now you can use this for any image, any image, basically, any image generator. And it's, it's as simple as just clicking on the actual prompt and then like, look, I can just type in a keyword and watch, watch the, watch the, the generator start to create different prompts. So it's working on prompt one and you can plug these in. Like I said, it's really cool because you can plug these into pretty much any image generator that you're using. Prompt two, three, four, drink a coffee, boom. So it's literally just as simple as copying any one of these and then pasting them over there. And it did it all for you, which is really amazing because sometimes you don't want to sit there and think about a prompt where you're just like, I don't, I don't know what to think about. I don't know what to talk about, but this is a starting point to help you with, you know, if you're to say you're, you can't have, you can't think of nothing at the moment, right? This is a good point to start right here. And you can just literally just go in there, drag and drop it over into ideogram. Let me show you an example. So let's just grab and 
this one. Just I'm just grabbing that one and bringing it over here. Now, one cool thing too as well. See how I put up the search bar, right? Um, I have the magic prompt on and then you can literally, you have to make sure that you have the model. This is the latest one. You have that one checked magic prompt on this. If you want it on, if you want it off, you can turn it off. Or if you want to go back to the latest models, you can do that. But this is the latest model. Um, and then obviously the ratio, you can mess with any of that if you wanted to right here. So let's say for example, let's say we don't want the back end right there, that part right there. And then we're going to go ahead and hit generate. Let that generate. Now, another thing, one thing I've always talked about is when you're looking and you're this is the front page so we're letting that other one generate as we put into the search bar we're going over into basically just the front page of ideogram i went ahead and opened up another tab just follow make sure you follow along with me here this right here the explore the, the explore front page right this is all other users right you're going to see these are all other users that are generating different uh images now one thing that you can do here is leverage this for inspiration that's that's a cool look at the little girl killing that spaghetti right you can leverage this for inspiration to see how other people are using it right and if you create a lot of designs like me personally myself this right this like so this is a this is a perfect example for a t-shirt design i create a lot of t-shirt designs i create designs on products in general and then it goes on and on so if i see something like this i'm like oh that's a really that's pretty good right look at this this is pretty dang good so i'm like let me click on this and see what they use so you can see that they use that word t-shirt design and you can see the whole prompt that they use now let's say i wanted to use this but I don't want to use it for like like the chess game. I wanted to switch out a few keywords in here. I like the how they did this, and it looks really cool how they how they use the you know the vintage retro colors. You can see, or even if you're just taking notes, you can see like vector. So vibrant vector t-shirt design seems to be a good keyword, right? Vintage retro color seems to be good because it made that type of that color. Now the text. The text I never I never lose I either I either I win or learn. You can see how they did that in parentheses, right? Is displayed in a retro font, right? Is displayed in a retro font below the chest conveying a message of yeah so this is this is cool this is a really 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 cool idea so you're you're, you're seeing you this, this this is the same thing too as well like i'm pretty sure most of these people are like they're what they're looking at or or what they're doing here you can even hit retry the prompt or remix you can press that up here too as well but a lot of people they're not coming here with well, my point i'm trying to get across right here a lot of people are not coming in here and, and trying their first time right and and getting a winning prompt, right? You're testing out the AI. You're trying to figure out what's gonna work really good for you. Now, I know that's a, this can be a really good t-shirt. I just need to take out the actual actual uh, background and then upscale it, right? And to make sure, or take out the background and see how the, you know, the dimensions and the quality of the images. And then if it, based off of that, then I can either upscale it or just upload it to a platform so I can make sales with it. Same thing here. Look at this. This is a, a cool design. It's kind of like that t-shirt style design, right? There's some, there's some funny ones. What the heck is going on here? But yeah, that's literally what I would do. This front page is telling you a story and giving you some information. Now, as far as like, that's a cool one too, as well. Now, as far as like a uh, commercial use, from my understanding, the last time uh, Idigram touched on this, it's to use for commercial use now, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to check for, you know, copyrights or trademarks that's important that you still have to do that a lot of people get confused when it comes to this it's important that you understand that because just like with anything else it just because it's this and like they can create it for you that means it doesn't mean you can do it right i'm not sure who thought of that idea but you always have to double check for trademarks copyrights any of that because you don't want to be infringing on someone else's work but yeah no so as we're going looking at this it just there's a there's a lot you know that's going on right here but just kind of just taking notes and, and, and trying to generate your own original prompt or, or coming up with an idea, looking at other people's prompts and like seeing if you can make it work for you. At the end of the day, it's just like where you can just change out a certain keyword and then you have your own prompt. That's still, you know, that's pretty cool that you can do that. So let's come back over here to that prompt that it generated for us. This is, see, look at this. So this is English Bulldog and athlete in its prime leaping through an agility course with determination right and it goes on it gets breaks it all down you can see it breaks it all down and right here that's the whole prompt but look at look at look what it created for us right this thing's cool pretty look at the muscles right i have an english bulldog that's why i wanted to actually have two of them. so if you see me creating a content around it it's because i have two english bulldogs myself they're cool they're really cool dogs really strong and this this is it looks clean right here and it's so one thing we look at the prompts so I had I had the magic prompt on so it went ahead and 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 changed all that and it's giving you the dimensions 
1024 by 1024, and most of them are that dimension. Now, if I turned off the magic prompt, it would have never did that, but it went ahead and, and kind of just revised it for us, right? And it did a pretty good job at doing that. I think it's pretty clean. So at the end of the day, if you want to have the magic prompt on, you can have that on, but you can also take that off if you wanted to. But I think it's just as far as testing it out and seeing what it can um, generate for you. It's a really awesome tool. And look at the muscles on that, this dog right here. Now I went inside here and just leveraged the, the blog they right here so i just f create a funny meme about a about cats i put create a funny meme about english bulldogs and it's doing some it's 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 doing pretty a good job right the like the the image quality is freaking pretty good right but it's still making some uh errors with the wording right this one almost had it i said certified twice i say oh, this one right here this is there's some misspelling in here there's some misspelling in here there's some misspelling in here so it's 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 getting it right but there's still some like some edits that need to be done inside of here with the image itself now i went ahead and took the the same emojis from the blog here just copied and pasted them over here and let me click on this real fast let me see it hilarious me i just wanted to see the magic prompt the type of magic prompt it created right it did yeah that see that this is that magic prompt is pretty clean because it's what it's doing it's 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 doing a good job here at the magic prompt but then you know some the ai is kind of ah, a little wonky so you can definitely retry the prompt again i think but it just it's, it's getting that yeah to see the magic prompt is doing that good job i just wanted to see like what, what was the magic prompt what was that doing right is it making sure that it's doing it correctly yeah see it's spelling it correctly here doing everything correctly here but it just here on the on the which is cool because you can just just have it retry it for you and then right and then you just hit generate again and do it over and same thing here yeah so you can hit generate and then i'll generate the image for you all over again right so i think it's just a matter of just doing it a few more times but it's creating a really awesome prompt with the magic prompt and then you regenerating it a few times for it to create the image for you right so let's come over here let's check out what it did over here a spooky skeleton a spooky halloween scene featuring a mischievous ghost and a card jack-o-lantern and an eerie skeletons the ghost wearing a vintage dress and hat look at this he got it floating in the other point this is this this magic prop right here i'm looking at it right here it did a good look at that it did a really good job that's crazy that's that's pretty cool right spooky all the way seeing with the playful ghost yeah this is cl that's clean that's that's cool look at that so with the emoji part it did pretty good now the text i th I, I can see why a little with the text kind of be a little bit challenging a bit but this is yeah this is dope yeah <laughs> that's crazy that's pretty cool now one thing too as well so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and create some t-shirt designs inside of here let's go ahead and let's create some t-shirt designs and one way that i personally like to do research is with merch informer what i'm going to do is come over here to the left hand side product research and then i'm going to go ahead and hit movers and shakers now i'm going to go ahead and create a few different prompts inside of uh ideogram 1.0 and see like what we can do now one thing i know when it comes to research it's like when i'm looking at this it's going to tell me a story so which because we're trying to create a, a design that we know that's like either one that's making sales right now or an event that's going to be coming up now this right here meta meta marachi marachi a single de mayo okay, so single de mayo is coming up i love hot moms the best dad ever father's day mother's day i am magical and now the solar eclipse funny cow i've been creating some content on this if you're unaware i do a lot of print on demand so i sell a lot of, a lot of t-shirts stuff like that that's what i do on this channel and I've been selling t-shirts for a while now, and I've been doing pretty good at it. So eat, sleep, baseball, repeat. Interesting right there. Uh, easily distracted by otters and dogs. <laughs> That's an interesting combination right there. So I'm going to go in here. What we're going to do, I'm going to say, yep, single de Mayo crew squad. That's what I was actually, not your average assistant principal. This is what I was thinking right here. So. You, this is cool because it's like teachers, right? Principal, not your average assistant principal. There's a lot that can be done there. There's a lot you can scale out right there. So I'm thinking of funny. So funny Cinco de Mayo sayings, right? Saying for a t-shirt design. I'm going to keep it like that and let the magic prompt do its work. Funny Cinco de Mayo saying for a t-shirt, for a t-shirt design. I'm going to hit generate and let's see what this bad boy does now this is what it created i like this one i like the idea fiesta fiesta for fiesta forever party forever right got, got some you know some elements some single de mile themed elements going on here look like a little chihuahua i'm not sure what this is maybe like a llama 
with the hell? The sombrero, that's pretty cool. It went ahead, carried almost like a flyer idea, right? I came, I saw, I saw again, I fiested. That's a <laughs> that this this is cool right here. I like this one. So the concept, so it's this one and this one is giving me some really good ideas right here. So this is like, and this is one thing too, it's like it's giving you some inspiration. Right, it might not be doing it correctly because it's saying I saw, I, I, I came, I saw, I saw, I saw, I fiested. I came, I saw, I fiested. That's more better, right? It, it, the concept, and the ideas are here. Now it's just taking that and leveraging that and creating something of your own, right? That's and that's what I mean by letting it do the heavy lifting because the layout it seems to be decent of, of actual design. Right, there might be a little bit going on too much right here with two of these animals together, right? And, or if that is even an animal, whatever that is, the concept is there, right? And then same thing with this one, the layout and the concept is here. So what, like, what can I do here? I'm trying to figure out what we can do here. And this may take a little bit of editing as far as the actual image or the design and then boom, right? Which would be a good idea. And you can obviously, you can download any of these images. You can download any of these images. So if I wanted to download that one and then kind of go on and and, and mess with it, I can come in there and download it. So it's downloaded to my computer. You can see it downloaded in a PNG. And this is a 1024 by 1024. If that image was good, you can go ahead and upscale it, right? And I have a video on how you can upscale these images and, and take out the background, which is very, very simple. And I'll put that down below in the description so you can see that. But it's getting the concept. So let's look at the magic prompt. A humorous single to mile t-shirt design featuring a festival, festive sombrero, colorful maracas, and a playful chihuahua that phrases Fiesta Forever is written in bold, vibrant colors with a Mexican flag pattern. Overall design is bright and cheerful. Perfect for celebrating the fiesta, the festive spirit of Cinco de Mayo. See, like that magic prompt, that's that's fire right there. Like even if I just wanted to redo that one again, like I like that one. Let me come in here and regenerate that one. Let it regenerate. Let's take that one and regenerate that and see what happens. Now I went ahead and I came over here. It's creating some good stuff. Funny Cinco de Mayo. I just went ahead and copied that phrase again and again to see. You know, I copied in the funny single demise saying for a t-shirt design. You know, it's red, it's doing it over here. This is that's this good stuff right there. It's doing it over here for that one. So we have one going here and it just finished it. But if we come back over here, I just copied that same phrase into another tab just to see like what else would it come up with? Um, I like this right here. I like these elements that it created. Even if you're taking some of these elements, right? Some of these elements are just right on point, but the whole design's like, eh. So it can do better, right? And just and then at the end of the day, it's like how you're talking to the AI. You need to figure that out. Once you figure that out and talk to the AI and and and, and get you know, kind of get that get that brain going, get those get those juices flowing, you can it comes up with some really cool stuff. And like this concept right here, look at this. Maybe just add some eyes to this donkey. This is a really good idea. Donkey dancing, got the maracas in his hand with the sombrero. Like that's a cool design. Just missing an ear, I believe, right? This is a really good design. So it obviously too, paying attention to the little detail and if you have to go and do some edits or anything like that, or even just redo the design till it gets better and better and better, that's a good idea. Fiesta tacos and tequila too. Fiesta tacos and this is a good one. See, that's a good saying. I can see that working. Uh, single to the mile, my favorite, my favorite reason to party since I found out it, found out it 5th of May. It's the 5th of May. Cinco de Mayo, the day we celebrate Mexico's victory over, well, it's still a party. <laughs> Fiesta la, viva la fiesta, Cinco de Mayo. Now, let's go back over here. So, that was good stuff. Like, some of these elements, like, these are good elements, by the way. Just think about that, too. It doesn't have, like, these glasses are pretty clean. They're right on. Like, the chili's nice, I think. Yeah. Zoom in, yeah. The chili's pretty nice. Maybe have to do a little bit there, but... Like this face is, this is crazy. Look, this is cool, right? The tequila bottle, like these little things that you can possibly take out, download, take out that image, and then you can use it in your own design for uh, your own element, right? Then, oh, let, me see, let me see what this, let me see what this one created, this magic prompt. Eh? That's cool. And then also, if you like the actual image, you want to see like what else you can do, you can just hit that and regenerate that prompt again. This one's pretty clean. I like what I did here. You see what I did? You just kind of just went in there and, and regenerated the image to see what else, what other cool things you can create. And it did a pretty cool job. This Chihuahua, he looks pretty spot on. The image itself is pretty clean, right? Yeah, some good stuff right here. And then, like I said, you click on any image, it's gonna be 1024 by 1024. Check this out too as well, right here. So funny Cinco de Mayo t-shirt design. I put comma, text, dash, parentheses, not your average teacher. Kind of the same concept from this design that we got over here at Merchant Farmer. And 
I went ahead and applied it over here and look at these, look at this design. Obviously missing, missing the eyeballs looks a little crazy, but you got, the, this design's pretty clean. Not your average teacher spelled it correctly. Everything. Not, not your average teacher lessons on nachos. This is a cool one too as well. This one's, but this one and this one, these are clean and you can see the magic prompt went ahead and, you know, put some, that's it, you know, did, did it, let me see colorful letters playful eye catch that's clean the whole prompt the magic prompt that's a nice one right there and then this one humorous single to mile t-shirt design featuring a cartoonish teacher that's see how i did that cartoonish that's you see some of these keywords like we're looking at like we want to use maybe in future design so like cartoonish there's a few that we found here playful seems to be a really good one flying tortilla chips yeah this this is a whole this that magic prompt right there is fire but this right here, that's pretty cool. That's a cool design. And the more you mess with it, right, the more you kind of learn it and understand it, the more, the better prompts that you're going to get out. And I recommend you just try it, test it, keep testing it until, you know, you get that right design and you have that right idea and you know how to create these images inside the AI. And now if you need the image bigger, this, it's crazy how the ideo, ideogram 1.0 can do all this stuff, but if you need the image bigger and you, you want to upscale it and take out the background, watch this video right here next. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.